So now I'm going to introduce you to the circle of tangents. This is a magical thing that will help you get the tangents faster. So everybody knows that tangent is sine over cosine. So if you wanted, you know, tangent of pi over 3, you could find out that the sine of pi over 3 is uh, root 3 over 2. The cosine is 1 half. So square root 3 over 2 over 1 half. And divide it, cancel the 2s, and you get square root of 3. Okay? But here's a shorter way to do that. If you understand that because tangent is the sine over the cosine, and the sine is the y-coordinate, the cosine is the x-coordinate, it therefore follows that the tangent of theta is equal to the slope of this segment, all right? Because it's rise over run. y over x is rise over run, all right? So um, then, first of all, you can get a lot of the tangents um, very easily because some of the tangents, the slopes, you can see very easily. So um, tangent of zero is zero because the slope is zero. Tangent of pi is zero because the slope is zero. I have to use a different color for that. All right. Tangent of pi over two is undefined because the segment is vertical. And tangent of three pi over two Let's do it like this. Clever, huh? Is undefined because the slope is vertical. All right? Now, here's how you're going to get the rest of the... Well, here's the next one. I guess there's another one that's easy to get. So all the 45-degree angle ones, the slope is 1. So the tangent of pi over 4 is 1. The tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. The tangent of 5 pi over 4 is 1. The tangent of pi, 7 pi over 4 is negative 1 because that's slope 1, slope negative 1, slope 1, slope negative 1. All right? Okay? Now, here's the next one that's, that's cool. There are only two other possible values for tangents that we haven't got. So your tangents are all going to be either 1, 0, or undefined, except for two other numbers. So the two other numbers that you need to know are square root 3 over 3, and square root 3. And then you want to think, if I take a positive number divided by 3, I'm going to get something smaller. Therefore, square root of 3 over 3 is smaller than square root 3. So the rest of the tangents, you can get by looking at the slope and just say, is it a large slope or a small slope? This segment is not steep, so it's the small slope. This segment is steep, so it's the large slope. Right? Isn't that easy? And then this is a large slope going down, so it's negative square root 3. This is a slight slope going down, so it's negative root 3 over 3. This is a slight slope going up, so it's root 3 over 3. This is a, a steep slope going up, so it's root 3. This is a steep slope going down, so it's negative root 3. This is a shallow slope going down, so it's negative root 3 over 3. So you can get those tangents very easily. So if somebody asked, like if I didn't have those, and somebody just asked me, what's the tangent of 7 pi over 6? I would say, oh, well, it's a very slight slope going up, so it's, it's square root 3 over 3. Boom. All right. Somebody asked me, what is the tangent of 5 pi over 3? And I didn't have it there. Well, I said that's a steep slope, so it's square root of 3. It's going down, so it's negative square root of 3. Negative square root of 3. Somebody asked me, what's the tangent of 3 pi over 4? And I didn't have it. I would go, oh, 3 pi over 4, that's a 45 degree angle going down, so the slope is negative 1. It's negative 1. That is the circle of tangents. Using the slope to get tangents, it's much quicker than trying to divide the sine and the cosine every time. All right, so you study all these tricks and techniques and really understand this unit circle. And then when I see you in person, I will give you a quiz on it with no calculator. I look forward to that day.